Welcome back to another episode of 30 Days to Duke. I'm Jess. And I'm Dana, and today we're going to be exploring the gardens. It looks like a really busy day. It's beautiful weather outside, so let's check it out. <sighs> it's so pretty. Like a perfect day for this. This nice grassy open space is awesome to come out here and read a book, have a picnic, chill on a hammock like they are. Students do all sorts of activities out here. You'll see people throwing a frisbee, kicking a soccer ball, doing yoga, all sorts of things. So what do you guys really enjoy about the gardens and coming out here? Hammocks. <laughs> it's pretty. I think it's just a great way to <laughs> relax after class, not really have to worry about anything. I think it's a great place to just come and relax, like listen to music. Some people do homework. Not many schools have this great facility right on campus to just kind of take a break from school. Duke's a very hustle and bustle campus and everyone's always you know, stressed out, working really hard on their next test or paper or report. And so it's nice to really um, come to a place like the gardens and just you know, hang out, take a break and not have to worry about school for a little bit. I think one of the really nice things about the gardens is that it's not just students who are coming oh, here. Yeah, that's so, true. you know, you can come and see members of the Durham community, which is so nice because we get so used to being in our little Duke bubble and only seeing yeah. students. It definitely makes you feel less isolated. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. And so many cute kids. Okay, it looks like we're in the Asiatic Arboretum mm -hmm. and there's a cool bridge over there, so let's check it out. Let's go. Oh, that's so pretty. <gasps> Oh, it's so pretty here. Well, I had a great day walking around the Duke Gardens today, and I can't wait to come back. Yeah, I'll have to visit more. That concludes another episode of 30 Days to Duke. Check back tomorrow for more.